I didn't know that if you have lots of friends, you're still at risk. I didn't know that if you were the most popular young person in school, it could happen to you. I didn't know that my teacher would be able to help me. I didn't know that when my girlfriend sent me a topless selfie and I sent it to a mate, it was breaking the law. I didn't know that a 30-year-old chatting up a 13-year-old is legal. I didn't know that a 17-year-old can still be victims of CSE. Things are looking up and I'm finally feeling myself again. I didn't know that boys could be victims too, even straight boys. I didn't know the risks I was taking when I went missing. I didn't know that all the gifts and money they gave me meant they wanted sex. I didn't know that when they topped my phone up, they only wanted me to text and call them. I didn't think it was other young people that could be abusers. I always thought it was old men in rain max. I didn't know who was out there to listen to me. I lived in a nice house in a nice area. I had pretty much anything I wanted and could do what I wanted as mum and dad were always working. The trouble started when I met Rachel in the park. We got chatting and she asked if I wanted to go for a drive with her and her mates as it was a lot cooler than hanging out in the park. I thought she was fit. Soon, she was the most important person and didn't realise what she was getting me into. Afterwards, I didn't know Red's term. I found it hard finding the courage to speak to my youth worker. It took months, but I'm glad I did. I have started to feel myself again. My mum said I had been acting differently since I started dating my brother's friend. I thought I was being grown up, so what if he didn't want me to hang around with my friends anymore? They were also childish, but soon it got out of control. I would just go along with it to keep him. I was in an unhealthy relationship, but I only realised this when the police came into school to talk about CSE and explain what an unhealthy relationship is. When I was invited to a party, I was really excited. They gave me money for a new outfit and picked me up so I didn't have to get the bus. It was a bit strange when I realised I was the only girl, but they said that they didn't need any others as I was so beautiful. They made me feel so special and let me drink whatever I wanted. After that, I went to lots of parties. It was fun at the beginning, but then I didn't know they expected me to pay them back for clothes and drinks with sex. I can't remember how many parties I went to because I was so drunk or tried to forget. I just thought I had got myself into this mess, so I just had to deal with it. When I got pregnant and spoke to my doctor, I finally realised this whole time it wasn't my fault. They helped me to get the support I needed to change what was going on. I found help when I spoke to my doctor. I found help at my youth centre. I found help with my school nurse. I found help speaking to my carer. I found help speaking to a social worker. I found help speaking to a teacher. I found help speaking to a youth worker. I found help speaking to a support worker. If you have experienced some of the things we have been talking about in this film, or it has made you think about what's going on in your life, you need to know there are people and organisations out there to listen to you and help you. Don't keep your worries to yourself. Don't take the blame and don't let people control you. Talking to someone may help you to understand what is going on and how you can move on with your life. I didn't know it could happen to me, but now if it does, I'll know what to do.